I just got done reading the book called The Talent Code. And the, the gist of that book, and I talk to everybody about it, and everybody argues with me, and they haven't read the book either, so it's hard for them to argue and get all passionate about how it's wrong without having read it. I didn't write it, but I, I found the ideas in it very interesting. The ideas were, there really isn't such thing as talent. What there is, is development. And they took, took all these different people, athletes and artists and musicians, and they looked at, for example, Mozart. And this is the myth that they try to debunk, that Mozart was this God-given talent that was creating these incredible compositions right out of the womb. I mean, they had to take the amniotic fluid off so that he wouldn't mess up the piano, and then he was playing. But as they talk in the book, as they you know research and, and outline the book, Mozart's father was an incredibly gifted musician. He was a well-developed musician, and he had all these friends that were composers and players, and from the time Mozart was very, very young, his father had him playing and practicing and listening and repeating these things and going through a certain type of practice that was very slow and very steady. And he made mistakes. He was always on the edge of making mistakes and working with it until he finally got it. It's this sort of methodical means of practicing that this book outlines that everyone who is, quote, talented has gone through, you've heard this probably before, 10 or 15,000 hours. It's not simply that they've gone through 10 or 15,000 hours of mindless, repetitious practice. They've gone through 10 or 15,000 painful hours at the edge of what they could possibly accomplish. Most people can't stay in that place because they want to feel ease or, or mastery. They don't like this ignominious feeling of failure. People that are, quote, talented have for some reason been able to overcome the pain and the sort of momentary indignation of their own failure. Failure, the accumulation of failure, is the, are, are the building blocks of what we call talent. You've thrown the ball and made certain corrections on it so many times, you self-correct and somebody else helps you correct so that you can throw so fast and throw accurately. Obviously, there's people who have physical gifts, but that isn't really talent either. That's the tool. The tool constantly has to be refined through this one type of practice. So. I'm kind of of this belief, and I know uh, I don't have a lot of support for it, at least in the people that I talk to, that there really isn't such thing as talent. There's such thing as mastery. And there are a lot of people that are clearly masters at what they do, but none of them have, have certainly been instantly gifted, they say, you know, by the gods with this gift. They've worked tirelessly and ceaselessly at it. Now, if you're a runner and you have long legs and you're strong, you're going to be better able and better equipped to achieve this mastery. But that does not amount to talent.